see a beautiful view heading out to the harbour there. And also you can see some students from a school who have stayed overnight at the, the Zeus News. This is an initiative uh, that started a couple of years ago and it's one of the ways in which Taronga Zoo is diversifying and, and uh, trying to make the most of the facilities that they have. So I've looked at their education centre and the research that's being done there and they've, they've realised that while people come to the zoo during the day, there's often a lot of activity uh, at night and at dusk and one of the ways they've thought how can we use this is they've, they've got school tours that come and, and do kind of dusk and night tours of the facilities, checking out the nocturnal animals. They use a red light so that, uh, so that you're not putting on these bright lights on the poor animals. And you get to do in the morning uh, various, uh, you know, the bird shows, etc., 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 and just stay out overnight. So it's a, a very fun activity for a lot of students to take part in, and it's also a way of, uh, of increasing revenue so they can spend that on, on conservation and on improving the facilities here at Taronga Zoo. Another way that they're trying to improve this concept of the zoo not being just, you know, an enclosed place where animals are is the language that they use. So you'll note as you as you walk around a lot of the different signs, a lot of the exhibits actually have quite interesting language that they've used. For example, we've got the the Blue Mountains bushwalk. So it's this idea that they're, you know, we're transporting you to the Blue Mountains to, to see what it's like and, and various animals that you'd meet there. Also koala encounters. So that's another language that they're using. They're trying to get this concept that you're coming to the zoo uh, not just to look at something, but you're coming to encounter the wild. So they've got Wild Squad, which is a program for, for children that they can ta take part in and they can join the, uh, the idea of, uh, of that is, is getting kids to, to be you know, excited about wh what it's like to, to take part in nature. You can also see here, you've got Blue Mountains Bushwalk, Reconnect. So it's this idea of joining in the bush. Here's an example of Wild Squad. You'll see these all around, these signs. Okay, Wild Squad, Operation Regent Rescue. We need to create resilient landscapes and release Regent Honey Eaters into the wild of Caper Tree Valley. So it's this idea of uh, saying to students, saying to, to little kids, you're on a mission. We're trying to get uh, action to happen. They're trying to create change here at Taronga Zoo. So one of the ways they do that is, is to encourage uh, small children to join Wild Squad and to see it as an adventure, as a mission to, to help preserve uh, environments and conserve these animals at all costs.